Hi guys, and today we'll be looking at how to insert a bar graph as well as animate each of those bars to wipe up in a staggered approach. So let's go right into it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to insert and then charts, it's pretty simple, and then you just choose whichever chart you want. We're just going to do bar graph because that's what the video is about today. So we're going to just press OK and we've got this clustered column bar graph. And you can just change all the data here, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, you can do that in your own time. Okay, so to animate it, you just want to go to animations and I'm just going to choose a wipe um, and it's going up automatically. So, um, so it's a white wipe animation and what you want to do is just open this pop-up box. Do you see this um, small arrow right at the bottom right of the effect options? Click on that and a pop-up bo box should appear. Now what you want to do is to go to chart animation, this tab on in the pop-up box and then change the as one object to whichever you want and I'm just going to choose by element in series, okay? Or you can choose element in category, actually you know what, let's go with by element in category because that might look a bit better. And then you can either uncheck the start animation by drawing chart background or check it. So I'm going to check that because I want it to start with that. So you'll see that if I play again, you'll see that the entire bar graph background starts with a wipe and the rest follow. So you see, and then each one of them in turn does the wipe animation. And that looks really good. You can also do, if you wanted just to do it by category, change this to, to be by category. And each one of these categories goes up at the same time. So instead like that, okay. And you can change the duration up here and delay, etc and um, I've got other tutorials on that so this is basically how you do a bar graph animation you can just change all these things and then it should work um, to change it you just go to um, just go to edit data in the chart design bit um, but this is basically how you animate it and I hope you found this really helpful and you should be able to use this in all your presentations really easily so thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you next time in a new video